Hello, friends! We're live in our new space. Hold on, I should have made sure my Wi Fi was good. Okay, we're good. So, let me get you guys all situated. I haven't gone live in here yet. The lighting seems pretty good. What do you guys think? Is the lighting. How's the signal? Can you see me? Am I blurry? Am I glitchy? Let me know because we have a media team that's working here the next couple days to get our our signal like super, super strong. I have not worn makeup in a week. <laughs> I have been roughing it lately, you guys. It's like almost comical how haggard I've been looking going out in public. But I apologize for any of the construction sounds. We have um, a team upstairs putting in our French doors. We have a team out back doing, um... ah, there's a fly in here. Oh my God, is that a bee? Nikki, save me. I think it's a bee, hold on. <laughs> I think there's a bee in here. <laughs> Now you guys get to watch us try to kill a bee or a fly. I can't tell which really? what it is. Yeah, it hit me in the head. Do <gasps> you see it? Do you hear it? No. <laughs> what? <laughs> Walking to the country. Um, they like totally smacked me in the head. Okay, well what's our game plan? Because if we're just barehanded. Huh? Protect me. Do you know what way it flew? No. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I am terrified of bees. Welcome to the new house. I know. I was gonna ask you, turf <laughs> is turf real grass? No, turf is fake grass. And the reason that we like turf in California is it doesn't really rain. Um, so one, water conservation. Two um it looks good all year long um and three it's honestly cheaper than running water and all that i would not try to kill a bee but i'm terrified of them okay how should we go about this sorry to interrupt do you want me to stay in here and when i see it get it or sure want to bring your laptop in here yeah okay don't leave me alone with this bee okay. <laughs> yeah thank you guys so much I got the tanning drops, how to use it in the morning or at night. Um, tanning drops, I probably would do at night and then sleep in it. I feel like I'm really short. What do you guys think? I'm like trying to raise my seat. I got a bigger desk than at the last house. I wonder if I like raise you guys. Oh, this is probably better. Okay, that's a, that's a wee bit better. Within the south, so used to bees. We are not used to the bees. So our last house was very suburban. We lived next to like one of the main freeways in San Diego. And um, and then we moved about 30 minutes and we are more in mountains or like more in the country. So we're getting used to it, these city folk. <laughs> Us city folk are getting used to it. All right, so we'll go ahead and get started because now I don't know where it went. Maybe it's hiding somewhere. Yeah, it totally does look real for sure. Yes, we are. We already gutted the house and we did customize it um, a ton. And if you guys haven't seen like any of the details on it, um, check out my Instagram. Go search me on Instagram. My name there is Rhea Hope. And then you can see all of like the updates and everything that we've done, like what it used to look like. And I take you guys through the whole stinking process. Um, I also am linking everything like that I've bought in um, and styled the house with on my Instagram as well. So I have um, a highlight and it literally has a, like a little house emoji. Let me see if I could do an emoji on here. Yeah, look for that emoji, a little home on my Instagram and that's all of the stories on our new house. So feel free to catch up if you guys missed it. But we bought this house in October and we've been renovating it since. And we're still pretty deep in renovations. Things have gone really like slow because of COVID, like as far as like how delivery times have been and stuff. So things have been going slow and steady. So 
For today's makeup coverage, I'm doing stick foundation. I don't know if you guys saw on my Instagram story, but I was telling you guys how dry my skin has felt lately with living in a new area. Um, so I've been loving and relying, or I have been wanting to love and rely on my stick foundation. I literally haven't worn makeup since we moved in. But the stick foundation is one of my absolute favorites because look how easy it applies. You literally just like mark up your clothes, up your clothes, up your face. Oh no, Sonia, you gotta get an Instagram, girl. R Love Ryan's closet. He has a lot of clothes. No way you'll be able to sneak any things in there. Watch me, girl. I'm just kidding. Um, he has three empty drawers for me. <laughs> he doesn't actually have a lot of clothes. It, they're just spaced out. I was like, so whatever you're doing, keep doing it. I've been using launch. Oh my gosh, isn't that funny, Victoria? My stylist said the same thing after I switched to using launch. She was like, what are you using? I've never seen your hair this healthy, this fast growing, and this uh, platinum. And I was like, oh, I'm using launch. And she was like really impressed with the ingredients and everything. So if you are trying to grow out your hair or you're just frustrated that you're not getting like results with your current hair care, Message me because they're actually doing a 60% off sale right now when you use this code. Or I'm sorry, this link right there. What's the code for that, Nikki? Uh, I believe great hair in all caps. Great hair. Okay, so there we have our foundation on, which we used the shade Lace today and the stick foundation. If you guys need any um, help picking out your product or your foundation or your colors or anything, just private message me here on Facebook. What color if you, hi Rhea, what color if hair do you have? I like the taupe blonde. Uh, oh, what color is my hair color? Uh, the shade platinum blonde is my new color. Or my new color, my hair color. She said, you've been taking the liquid collagen. I said, yes. Oh my gosh. Speaking of liquid collagen, I don't know if I posted yet or not, but we did get an update on the relaunch of it. So I have good news and I have bad news. Who wants... What do you want first, the good news or the bad news? I'm doing great, how are you? Oh my gosh, the kitchen progress is like amazing today. I'll show you guys after I'm done. Maybe I'll take you guys on um, this live, so hang through to the end. Okay, so bad news. I always like with the bad news first. Bad news is that when they relaunch it, there's not enough to meet demand. So that's the bad news. The good news is they are going to open it up, hopefully by the end of the month. And I say hopefully very like, hopefully by the end of the month. And they're allowing you to start a subscription. If you start a subscription, you will not experience any more delays. Like the girls who started subscription when it first launched, they never had to be without. It continued to come to them. Um, and they did that on purpose. So if you start a subscription, you're in. You will not be ever affected by um, out of stock. It'll always come no matter what. So when it comes back, make sure that you snag it ASAP and set up the subscription. The subscription is awesome because you can cancel at any time. You can skip a month. You can pause it. And you're still in. So you're still like in the safety zone. I had a girl and she did it and she skipped, I think, a month and then paused it and then redid it because she was like spacing out her liquid collagen. And she messaged me the other day and she's like, I'm so glad I decided to do the collagen subscription because one, it saves you money. It's a discounted price. Two, it gets you free shipping. And three, she never experienced having to deal with out of stock because it's all you're locked in. So make sure you set that up. The subscription, if you love the eye masks, if you love any of the skincare, all of the skincare is available for subscription now, which I actually saw the other day. So make sure to check that out. It is a, um, a marine collagen. Yes, absolutely. So what I just did just now is I went ahead and did my concealer. I love this concealer so much. It really makes your under eyes look so bright and youthful and it covers everything. If you have dark circles, if you have any areas that you need a little extra coverage, it's phenomenal for that. Yes, I'm actually going to use the little shadows today, um, which if you haven't seen, Unique did a surprise flash sale for us mamas for really all women. Um, and what it is, is they brought back the little mini palettes. Do you guys remember these from Black Friday? They brought back those so you get your choice of any mini palette plus your choice of any um, lipstick. 
And that ends today at midnight. So if you guys didn't get that deal, I went ahead and I will leave you the link right here in the comments. And this is the direct link to that deal. Let me go ahead and pin it. Pin. Um, so there's the deal right there. So definitely don't miss out on the Mother's Day special. It's any eyeshadow palette, mini palette, and then any of the liquid, or I'm sorry, any of the um, Abilene Slip Slicks. Yay, hello, how are you guys? I know, aren't they so pretty? I love that they're really compact friendly. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm taking my Touch Behold Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm using this because it's really, really amazing at absorbing the oil and preventing my makeup from creasing, coming off all together, and moving. So going ahead and sweeping this away, because I only like to leave it on for a short period of time as a baking technique. Um, which will help to, like I said, absorb any oil and prevent any creasing from happening. Also minimizes the appearance of pores and blemishes. It can be a little messy though. Yes, I have been noticing a really big difference with using the under eye patches, 100%, especially with puffiness. If you struggle with under eye puffiness, it's phenomenal at that, at helping um, to prevent that. So you can carry any of the products on a plane. I think the only thing that has too much liquid in it for TSA is the setting spray. This is the only product that you can't bring on because the uh, fluid ounces is too high. I mean, which is a good thing for us because, you know, we get more. But for TSA, it kind of stinks. I think you can take the new Prime to Set Mist, however, because it's under. This is 2.8 fluid ounces and then... What's the TSA rule? I think I thought it was under four. But anyway, thank you. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and use our pressed powder in the shade Taffeta, and I'm gonna apply this all over. And this not only is gonna set our makeup, but this is also going to even out our complexion and make our skin look super even and really soft and beautiful. I've actually traveled on a plane with my um, setting pot or setting spray, sorry, and I've only ever had to throw away once, and they were just kind of being power trippy. But everyone else has pretty been been pretty good about it, unless it's brand new. Usually, if it's like not brand new, I'm like, it's half used. It's not full. It's not four. Hi. Regular black door knobs for Kevin and Ricardo. Do we have those? Um. They were up there sitting on the floor by them. No. Okay. Okay. I, just need to yeah. throw my... I think there's a bee in here. Oh, That's okay. why Nikki's in here to protect me. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's just probably a big pie, but I don't know. Yeah, if you want to look around. I don't know where it literally like hit me in the head. Say hi. Hi, everybody. There's Ryan. You called a bee killer? No, we're not killing bees. We're being friendly oh, and yeah. kind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Easy Karen. <laughs> <laughs> I have upgraded my makeup to the glove chowder bag. Oh my gosh, isn't it amazing? I think I have mine in, yeah, it's right there. There's my medicine bags. All right, so now for bronzer, we're gonna do the beachfront, or not beachfront, the brand new bronzer. And 3.4, that's what it is. Yeah, so the Prime to Set Mist is under that, so you could take this on TSA. Hello, Ryan, Amanda says. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and apply this in the hollows. And this is a huge game changer as far as like how flawless your makeup looks. It makes your skin look so soft and so like, it adds this like sun-kissed glow to it, which is really good. And then around the forehead, like so. Um, Any, no? I inspected the property, there are no bees. Okay, hi bee whisperer. <laughs> That's awesome. I must admit, I was hesitant to buy the eye patches, right? And you notice a huge difference? Isn't that great? I love it. They're amazing. What can I do to keep the makeup from rubbing off of my nose during the day? Um, setting powder. The setting powder will be your best friend as far as it comes to that. And also the pressed powder woo, will be the other best option. Sorry, my chair keeps like, Rrr. yes, the bronzer is matte, which I love. And it's like really soft. It's not like muddy or heavy or anything like that. Oh, Nancy, I'm, you're in the right spot. I too didn't know how to do any makeup and I've learned along the way. And usually my makeup tutorials, I feel like are a little bit more educational, but we're just excited to be in our new space. 
Um, but what we did now is we did the blush in the shade Sisterly. And this is so pretty on the skin. It really just like brings color to your cheeks and color to your skin. And it makes it so you don't look really washed out. It's really, really flattering on. And if you're not like a big blush fan, I feel like this color is the best bet because it adds color to your skin without overpowering it. Thank you so much. All right, so now for a highlight, we're gonna use the new, brand new highlight. It's called the Fusion Highlight. And this is one of my favorite products because this has the most gorgeous glow to it. It's like a really gorgeous bronze. And we're gonna apply this right here on the cheeks. And it really gives a beautiful, like, sheeny shine. Am I freezing for anybody else? Or how does the picture look? Am I pretty clear? Let me know. Because we're still working out our kinks. So if it's not super clear, definitely need to know so I can alert the authorities, our media guy. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. We are actually having major progress in the kitchen. A ton of stuff went in today. I'll show you guys after I'm done with my makeup. I'll take you guys in the kitchen. The bronzer I used today was the shade medium. Um, that one's actually not in stock right now, but the shade light is. And I feel like if you're new at doing bronzer, that's going to be your best bet as far as what product to use um, or what color to use in the bronzer because it's a very light, natural looking bronze. Not freezing, good, looks good, picture's fine. Oh, good, awesome. I always get worried when people are like, you're freezing, but if I am freezing for you and everyone else is saying I'm fine, it could be your Wi-Fi. So sometimes what's good on your phone, if you're watching me on a mobile device, is undoing your Wi-Fi and just going off your data. Sometimes it goes a little bit faster for streaming. All right, so now for a brows, we're going really, really light on our brows today because they need to be waxed. <laughs> so what I like to do is I'll take the brow sculpting pencil. I love this thing because it has argan oil, keratin, and biotin infused in it. And it has this little brush. So you can comb through and everything looks super soft and natural. And you can totally um, build up the color to it. So if you're new at doing your brows, this is the pencil you want. It looks clear. It's so clear. Much better than the old house. Ooh, that's good. I dropped my bronzer and I was broken hearted. Oh no, I'm sorry. That's honestly the worst feeling ever. So here are they going to come back with a 99 sign up deal? They're actually having message me. I'll tell, I'll let you know. Thank you. Oh yeah, maybe. Um, okay. So eyes, we're going to do the eyeliner in the shade perfect. We're going to pop this on the waterline and then we're going to do the little mini palette. So if you guys are just now tuning in or didn't see, we're doing a special until tonight at midnight. It's a little flash sale and it's on the little mini palettes that came about during the, um, the Black Friday special and they're a limited edition, but these are rad. So they come like this, a little compact. They have a little mirror and they twist open for all of these colors, <clears throat> excuse me. And there's three of them with different color combos. This one's one of my favorite, which is the shade Sociable. So this one we're gonna use today. And these are limited edition. Once they're gone, I have no idea if they'll ever bring them back. So definitely don't miss out. These drawers are so sticky. Um, definitely don't miss out. So we're gonna take the fluffy crease brush. I do, Victoria. Um, I will leave you guys, I will leave you my code and link in the comments. It's Raya15. For matte eyeshadows, uh, we definitely have a ton of those. So for this eyeshadow look, what I'm gonna do is I'm taking the really pretty purpley pink color here and popping that into the crease and all over the eyelid. And what's gorgeous about these colors is that they all go together. They're meant to all flow and they are limited edition. And what's also really rad about them is they have primer infused in them. So they really would help, especially if you have a hard time with your eyeshadows like staying in place and they blend beautifully. So these are only available until tonight at midnight and I left the link in the comments, but if you need any link at all, just ask for it in the comments. So if you're like, I need a link to that brush, say brush link, eyeshadow link, um, blending buds, stick foundation, whatever you need, just let me know. I did, Cecilia, I actually did a live with them, not yesterday, but the day before, where I showed you guys all about the new tool from Fancy called the Cali, and it's here under my video section if you missed it, but it is 
amazing. My feet have never looked better or been this soft in my whole life. Even Ryan was like, wow, did you get a pedicure? I'm like, I did it myself. Yes, this live is in the new house. We're in our new office. I know it kind of looks the same a little bit in the background, but yes, we are in the new house. We've been here for, has it been a week yet? Today's a week actually, right? Didn't we move Thursday? I think so. So one full week and it's been great. We're loving it. All right, and then I'm actually gonna take a liner shader brush and grab that color and just underline the lower lash line with this. These are the funnest little palettes because everything goes together. I love how travel friendly they are. And I like that the color combos that it comes in. Do you still live close to your mom? I do, yes. I actually live closer to her now, which is nice. And yes, we will have Mama over for our makeup live soon. We're still getting kind of uh, used to our area. And then I'm gonna take this color right here and then pop that on the inner corner just to like brighten it up a little bit. But how pretty. And I love how just easy these go on. So fun. And then what I like to do after we're done with our little mini palette, I did this stick foundation today. I'm like needing all the hydration I can get. My lips are super chapped. I couldn't find my lip mask for like four straight days. And I didn't realize how like chapped my lips got without using that every night. But don't worry, I found it. Yes, absolutely. I'll write out the brushes that we used today. And then for our skin, we're gonna go ahead and set with this guy. So speaking of hydration, this setting spray, if you have dry skin or mature skin, is incredible. It has cucumber extract in it, which is so hydrating and so, so good for your skin. Um, it also smells so phenomenal. It's not like a perfumey smell. It's a really, really soft, like refreshing smell. Um, but it sets your makeup, it helps to prevent transferring, it will help to keep your, someone had asked, how do I keep my makeup from smudging off my nose? That's how. Um, use your Prime to Set Mist to set your makeup. And that's available on my website down there as well. Everything also has a love it guarantee. So if you don't love anything for any reason, you can always return it for your money back, no problem. And then for lashes, we're gonna do the lash primer first. And then, so one little coat of this, base the lash all the way up. And this is a really good product because one, it helps to hydrate your lashes and two, <clears throat> helps to extend them and make them look so much longer. And then now we're gonna go ahead and use the Twisted Mascara. And this is gonna be so good for your lashes. One, it has argan oil, keratin, and biotin infused in the mascara. So it makes your lashes grow while you're wearing it. And it has the most intentional little bristle brush. So it helps your lashes like look so long and so even. So your lashes never look like clumpy or um, like spider leggy. So, so good. And we're gonna go from the base lash all the way up on both sides, just like this. And then you could do as many coats of this as you want. It's also one of the most smudge proofest <laughs> make or I blah, 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 mascaras I've ever used. It does not budge. It does not smear. It does not come off on anything. So we're gonna do one little second coat of this, and then the best part is that it has this tiny wand, which is perfect for reaching those harder reach eyelashes. So the difference between the two sprays, there's actually a lot. So one's a spray, one's a mist. And then one has ingredients that are really hydrating and one has ingredients that are more, that is better for more oily prone skin. So it kind of just depends what your skin type is. I personally, as you guys saw, use both. I do the setting spray before and after my primer. I feel like it really helps to hold in my oils. And I also use it to um, use for my setting powders and things because again, it helps with the contain oil. And then I use a prime to set mist to add moisture into my foundations. All right, so for lips, we're gonna do the lip liner in Polite, which is one of my favorites. 
And this is actually on sale in the April special. And then I'm gonna color in a little. Okay. Yes, we do have a waterproof mascara as well. All right, so now I'm gonna take my liquid lipstick in the shade um, Subtle, and this is the one that's on sale in the April special. You could choose any liquid lipsticks in that special, and this one's my favorite. It is so hydrating, and it is so matte, without being like peely or cracky or anything like that. And it has a really good hold for being a liquid lipstick. Just like that. And I'm going to let it sit for just a few seconds before I go in with the next product. Try to test using the texture before and after primer and the primer and mitts. And it made a big difference. Oh, yay. I'm so glad. Yeah, but um, I definitely didn't. I wanted to stress the fact that the, um, the special is ending soon. On one, the April special, obviously, because April, we're like halfway done through the month. And two, the Mother's Day special is ending today so if you didn't get the mother's day special definitely check it yeah i know i love those ones too okay so after your liquid lipstick sets for a second then you can top it with lip gloss or whatever i'm going to top it with the lip butter to change the color a little bit and add even more hydration and this is the color casual friday and this kind of adds just like a little glossy touch to it not pretty one of my favorite lipstick combos for show. Sure. All right, so that was our home makeup look. I feel like that was really fast, but uh, let me know if you guys need any help picking out your products or your foundation colors or anything, but definitely make sure that you snag the Mother's Day special, which ends tonight at midnight, and or grab the, um, the April special too. But I'll give you guys a little glimpse of the kitchen. Let me take you out of your, let me take you out of your tripod. But here we have the office. It's a total hot mess. We're still like packing up and moving and stuff, but I'll show you guys what happened in the kitchen today. Don't worry, Seth, I won't show you. Oh, I lied. But yay, we have uppers. So they put in the upper cabinets today and then the lowers are all in. Uh, so basically now we just have um, drawers and doors left. And then our countertops. So waiting for our countertops. And you guys, if you haven't seen my bathroom yet, again, total hot mess, but how pretty did that come out? Isn't that so gorgeous? I love it so much. I went ahead and linked like a ton of stuff that we bought for the house on my like to know it. If you guys don't follow me there, make sure you do. Um, but there's a little, little mini house tour. I'll make sure to give you guys a better glimpse Next time it's all organized and looks nicer. But uh, let me know if you guys need any help. Make sure you shop down here, pin in this little link, and I will see you guys maybe tomorrow. Bye, guys.